So the topic for me today is academic libraries in a digital age and I want to talk about digital capabilities uh, which we believe is really important but actually is really important across the UK at the moment. We really realise the need to address this issue um, because externally there's a real change to the digital environment um, and there's a lot of online teaching and communication tools um, which are really developing at a rapid pace at the moment and it's difficult for staff to keep up with these changes. So often they're lacking in the skills or the confidence to fully exploit these uh, tools as they go forward. The OU in particular is focusing on digital capabilities and in particular digital capabilities of staff although we are looking at students and associate lecturers, uh, professional support services staff. Um, but in particular our academics actually, um, the skills that they need to be able to cope within a new digital environment are essential and this includes online teaching, communication tools, these are all developing at a rapid rate uh, for our staff. They can often feel uh, behind in terms of their skills, their confidence or even just the time to investigate these tools. So the project that we're focusing on at the OU is called the DIS project and that addresses these digital capabilities. Um, there are also drivers around the new TEF which includes uh, digital capabilities as part of its assessment and REF where the requirements that researchers need to understand the digital context of their discipline. Um, at the OU we're also supported by our internal digital uh, student first strategy which uh, talks about an area of priority being the leadership in digital innovation and so this is one of the five major strands that we're looking at. So the project team along with others across the university will develop a range of resources and approaches to grow the digital capabilities of both our staff, tutors and researchers and students um, using new and innovative uh, methods and embedding practice within business as usual activities. So hopefully people understand within academic libraries that digital and information literacy has long been something that academic libraries will deliver on. Um, so these are the skills that students need to be able to not only exploit our resources but become independent and critical thinker, thinkers and really understand um, the quality of the information that they are after. Um, and we're quite lucky at the OU, we have a, a digital information literacy framework um, pretty much embedded across the board uh, within the university, but we've always concentrated on students before now. Now, digital capabilities takes academic libraries into possibly new territories, um, and some people might not understand the fit for an academic uh, library, but I think it sits really neatly um, as something that is uh, a proper skills development, something that is a central resource that allows us to build on what we've already done with students uh, and start to think about our staff and how we enable them in this digital society. Mm -hmm.